Okay. Well, not through three here. Really hot today. It's about uh, 96 degrees out. Uh, been working on this two days. Today's Saturday. Was working on it Friday. Four hours. Uh, working on digging the hole for the ground post. Incredibly hot today. Uh, if you could see the sun, if you could see the sun, okay, see the sun? All right. Huh? I think so. All right. <laughs> it's hard to see. Got my dad filming today. Uh, whew. Feel like Survivor Man here. My core temperature is really getting hot. Important thing is I should have some shade on my head. We're gonna have to find some shelter first thing. Next thing that's important is to start a fire. Even though it's this hot out, it's important to start a fire in any condition for survival reasons. <laughs> uh, anyhow, all right, let me show you. Uh, here's all the dirt here. You can see a wheelbarrow. Big pile on the ground. It's, uh, the first foot and a foot, the foot and a half isn't so bad. That's dirt, but uh, that's still rough. If you look over here, even getting through the dirt, still got hit a lot of big roots, branches. So I had to break through those using a saw here. On it. Uh, finally got our hole here. Oh, let me show you this. These posts here. You can see these are going to be our new grounding rods here. I got one galvanized iron pipe and one copper pipe. Over time, this might not become as conductive it'll corrode or whatever, tarnish. Uh, these were my old grounding rods here. Uh, pretty much only have them in a depth about this deep. So you can see we're going to be going a total depth now, five feet. And having more surface area in the ground, more metal contacting with the ground. Uh, so far my experiments with ground rods have showed that it's more important to be deeper in the ground as opposed to how much metal we have in the ground which would hopefully that pans out to be true we'll see because uh, I'm gonna stick both of these ground rods in the ground first use one to see what the readings are and then I will connect both of the pipes together seeing if that will increase readings. If the readings do not increase, that definitely is showing that it's more important at the depth in the ground as opposed to the amount of metal surface area in the ground, which would kind of show that Moray and Tesla weren't exactly right in putting a huge plate horizontally in the ground. But who knows? On with the experiments. Let me show you this. Is five foot because I'm close to six, just under six. This fence is five foot. Uh, I'll show you dropping this down in there all the way down. It's going to be sticking above the ground, maybe two inches. That's it. Let me show you this. Ah! Ah! This is the post hole digger. I have to keep going like that. Now, breaking the dirt little by little. Ah, I'm trying to pick out dirt little by little. And it wasn't so bad at first. It was when you're first starting, you're way up here. But as you get down there, it becomes very back breaking hard work. I'm 
Dad, Dad, if you could come over here and show them the hole now, how deep it goes, and also that I had to keep widening the hole at the top here so that I could spread out the arms of the post hole digger to get dirt up out of there. Uh, I thought about renting a post hole digger. I, I've done that before when I put up a fence but I believe they only go about three maybe four feet deep uh, unless you get maybe a larger type that's on a small bobcat type of device like a riding lawnmower type post hole digger which would be a lot more expensive to rent and uh, I don't even know if I can get it in the fence in the area here the gates so clay again you can see this is all hard dry clay you can see this is probably that was like one of the biggest chunks right there it's all powder it's not like a shovel where you could dig your foot in and pick up big scoops the post hole digger you're going down maybe three eighths a half an inch at a time and scraping and scraping and scraping so uh, next video I'll be showing you the results of this mighty hot out and we'll see where it takes us uh, one other thing is if you look over at this side where I have that post that says St. Paul Avenue, that's where I want to put up the 16 foot post. That's a 12 foot post. I'm going to put up the 16 foot post there or maybe on the right hand side of the entrance to the lab. And going, if you could show them that over here, the left side, left corner of the garage. Okay. That corner, way over there. Okay, okay. That's where I'll be putting the other post. All the way over here in this corner. And then we'll be up above the garage. I'll be able to use a nice, strong, tight, new wire with no ripples in it, bends in it get a nice taunt wire going from post to post and then attach one more wire coming off the middle of that one that'll be more like Moray's device uh, it will be going east to west also uh, I think Moray was up around 80 feet high though that I'm not gonna get uh, as long as as far as it goes is the length of wire he used uh, I remember reading it was like 87 feet, but then I remember reading that it was 200 feet, a uh, quarter wave of uh, 7 kilohertz, I think, or hertz uh, frequency of the atmosphere. I don't really recall exactly. Uh, I don't know why I remember 87 feet and 200 feet. Now I'm wondering if 87 feet was the distance between the post and 200 feet is that distance between the post, post plus the wire coming off of the middle of it maybe I don't know I'll have to look this back up and check into it uh, but anyhow after that we'll see what kind of readings we get from that and then I was thinking maybe I could run the one wire that I'll have off the middle of those two posts coming down with my circuit instead of running it down to my circuit maybe I'll run it up to that tall post that's 41 feet and then back down like combining both of the antenna setups together uh, not that I want to really get that elaborate but just to see what happens I'll probably do that as one of the tests because uh, we want this to work in somebody's backyard we don't want to have an array of spider web of wires all over the place uh, I recall one photograph pretty famous of Moray shown his device in a basement. Two guys holding the wire, it looked like they're about maybe 12, 14 feet apart. So the thing is not to really get any more elaborate. I've, I've built up the antenna about as best as it's gonna get. We're gonna have the grounds now as good as it's gonna get for now. As good as it should need to be. The main thing after this, after doing many tests with the, wire, with the ground now, 
after that will be the main thing is to work more on the circuit. So until next video, we'll see what results come of this. Signing off.